The Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator R81.20 156-215.81.20 exam is one of the checkpoint certification exams, which not only enhance problem-solving skills but also provide opportunities to learn new skills. To pass the 156-215.81.20 exam successfully, you can choose the latest 156 to 215.81.20 practice questions of questions tube to boost your self-esteem and provide the easiest method to pass the checkpoint CCSA certification exam. Even the IT industry giants are shifting their workload towards checkpoint applications, which has further increased the fame of the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator R81.20 156-215.81.20 exam in the IT domain. For CCSA experts. The 156-215.81.20 exam presents a golden opportunity to acquire new skills. The actual 156-215.81.20 exam covers the fundamentals needed to deploy, configure, and manage daily operations of checkpoint security gateways and management software blades that run on the Gaia operating system. If you aspire to pass the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator R81.20 CCSA test, proper preparation is a must. This is where the Checkpoint 156-215.81.20 practice questions provided by QuestionsTube can be of great help. The new 156-215.81.20 exam questions and answers in 2024 have been recognized as the leading source for preparation by our experts. The verified 156-215.81.20 practice exam cover every subject of the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator R81.20 exam ensuring comprehensive preparation. If you want to clear the Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator R81.20 156-215.81.20 exam on your first attempt, you should choose the new 156-215.81.20 study guide effectively and confidently. One of the key advantages of using the Checkpoint 156-215.81.20 Practice Questions of Questions Tube is the 100% passing guarantee on the original 156-215.81.20 questions and answers. We are here having the 156-215.81.20 free exam questions online for reading. 1. In logging and monitoring, the tracking options are log, detailed log and extended log. Which of the following options can you add to each log, detailed log and extended log? A. Accounting B. Suppression C. Accounting, Suppression D. Accounting, Extended Answer. C. 2. What is the difference between SSL VPN and IPSUC VPN? A. IPSUC VPN does not require installation of a resident VPN client. B. SSL VPN requires installation of a resident VPN client. C. SSL VPN and IPSUC VPN are the same. D. IPSUC VPN requires installation of a resident VPN client and SSL VPN requires only an installed browser. Answer. D. 3. What is the RFC number that act as a best practice guide for NAT? A. RFC 1939 
B. RFC 1950 C. RFC 1918 D. RFC 793 Answer. C. 4. From the Gaia web interface, which of the following operations cannot be performed on a security management server? A. Verify a security policy. B. Open a terminal shell. C. Add a static route. D. View security management GUI clients. Answer. A. 5. Which identity sources should be selected in identity awareness for when there is a requirement for a higher level of security for sensitive servers? A. AD query. B. Terminal servers endpoint identity agent. C. Endpoint identity agent and browser based authentication. D. Radius and account logon. Answer. C. 6. What is the transport layer of the TCP IP model responsible for? A. It transports packets as datagrams along different routes to reach their destination. B. It manages the flow of data between two hosts to ensure that the packets are correctly assembled and delivered to the target application. C. It defines the protocols that are used to exchange data between networks and how host programs interact with the application layer. D. It deals with all aspects of the physical components of network connectivity and connects with different network types. Answer. B. 7. Is it possible to have more than one administrator connected to a security management server at once? A. Yes, but only if all connected administrators connect with read-only permissions. B. Yes, but objects edited by one administrator will be locked for editing by others until the session is published. C. No, only one administrator at a time can connect to a security management server. D. Yes, but only one of those administrators will have write permissions. All others will have read-only permission. Answer. B. 8. What are the types of software containers? A. Smart Console, Security Management, and Security Gateway B. Security Management, Security Gateway, and Endpoint Security C. Security Management log and monitoring, and security policy D security management, standalone, and security gateway answer, B. 9. If the active security management server fails or if it becomes necessary to change the active to standby, the following steps must be taken to prevent data loss. Providing the active security management server is responsible. Which of these steps should not be performed? A. Rename the hostname of the standby member to match exactly the hostname of the active member. B. Change the standby security management server to active. C. Change the active security management server to standby. D. Manually synchronize the active and standby security management servers. Answer. A. 10. What is the best method to deploy identity awareness for roaming users? A. Use office mode. B. Use identity agents. C. Share user identities between gateways. D. Use captive portal. Answer. B.